In this AutoCAD tutorial video, I would like to cover a few more of the modify commands that we find on the home tab in the ribbon. And that would be fillet and then chamfer. All right, so we can either round a corner or um, kind of cut it off at an angle. So to illustrate those, I'd like to draw a few squares. So the first one I'm going to do with a plain line. And I'll just make a five foot by five foot square, just like that. Then next to that, I would like to make one with a polyline. So I'll pick the polyline command, and I'm just gonna come over here and make another five foot by five foot square. But with this one, um, I'm just going to click the endpoint using my object snaps. I'm just going to click it. So you'll see that I still have that polyline continuing and then I'll hit enter. And then the third one I'll do with a polyline again, but this time I'm actually going to use the closed command that we see down here in the command line. So I can type in C for close. Okay, so when you do that, um, this polyline square is actually going to react a little bit differently to these commands than the one in the middle that I just use object snaps to close. I'm going to use copy right now, select all three of these, enter, and just make a copy of those to put down below. So I have basically two of each, two with a line, two with an unclosed polyline, and two with a closed polyline. All right. So, to demonstrate how the fillet command might work for you, I'll click on fillet. So once again, that looks like fillet. And we can do a variety of things here. First, what we want to do is R for radius. This is going to tell CAD how much of a curve to put there. So if I wanted to do something like maybe six inches, I'll just type in six, enter. And now I get to pick the two lines that are forming the corner. So I'll pick here and here and you'll see that it gave us a nice rounded corner. So once again, that's picking the fillet command, doing R for radius, maybe this time I'll make it 12 inches, and then we pick the two lines we're interested in. And now that I'm a little closer, you'll see when I hover over the line, it gives us a preview of what that curve will be. So here's a six inch radius, and then a 12 inch radius, so it's much larger. That's using uh, fillet on a simple line shape, so they're individuals. If I did that on a polyline, you'll see that it acts a little bit differently. So I'll pick the fillet command, and this time I'll do P for polyline. I have to tell it that it's going to be a polyline. So what I'm going to do now is pick my object. Now this second square that I made was with a polyline, but I didn't close it, right? So if I click, you'll see that it rounds three of the four corners. If I pick fillet, P for polyline, and then come to this one, notice the difference. So when you have a closed polyline, it will do all four corners, or how, however many you might actually have. But here it left this one because it wasn't closed. So that's a significant difference between using object snaps or measurement versus um, actually closing it, which is something you can go in later um, to change if you need to using something like join or p-edit or whatever it might be. Okay, so that's using fillet and that's how we curve corners. You can also use this to command to actually create uh, sharp corners. If I use fillet and do R for radius and type in zero, Notice that I can then come in, pick these two lines, and it actually previews where that corner is going to be, and it put a nice 90 degree corner here. So then I could come in and actually delete out that circle, for example. So I can actually put in a nice sharp corner or remove it with the same command. Below that, we actually have chamfer as well. And that's the same basic process, but you have to be a little bit more specific with your measurements. So, here we have a similar um, selection of options in our brackets for chamfer, but instead of a radius, we're going to be putting in a distance. So I'll type in D for distance. 
So what you need to do is actually say the distance on each side is going to come in from the corner. So to do something um, obvious, I'll do 10 inches for my first distance and then 5 inches for my second distance. Then when I do that, if I click my two shapes, notice that it's actually doing this in order. So when I hover here, you'll see that I pick that top horizontal line, so it's coming in 10 inches from the corner on the top, and then 5 down here. So we have 5 inches and then 10 inches here. So if I do that again, D for distance, you'll see that it kept my old measurements. So I can hit Enter and Enter to have that 10 and 5. So then if I come over, I can pick here. I'll do the vertical one first and then the uh, horizontal one here, you'll see that the order actually makes a significant difference. So you get something kind of lopsided if you have in, uh, you know, different measurements. But if we did uh, chamfer distance, um, you know, maybe four and four, you would of course get, you know, a nice, um, you know, 45 degree angle there. And that's doing it on lines. Now same thing if I do P for polyline, pick my polyline object, this one was not closed so it left that corner. But if I come over to my closed polyline, select it, it will do them all at once. So you can see having these things set up ahead of time can make it you know a little bit faster instead of going through and manually picking each angle you could do them all at once if that was um, what you're hoping to achieve so once again that's using fill it and chamfer from the modify panel